Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Yosha and I'm your go-to girl for all things real. Today's video is gonna be a one month update on this Ivy Coco headband wig. And I have it on right now. I wanted to do this update just in case you all are interested in purchasing the wig and you wanna know how the wig lasts over time. I'm gonna be honest, give you my pros, my cons, and if I do think that this wig is worth it. So first I'm gonna start off with the cons. And the cons are that the density for this wig is a little bit on the thinner side. I think that it looks good with the length that I purchased. Um, it looks very natural. I have some people who thought that this was my real hair. I've had people who asked me where I got it from. So I am getting compliments on the wig. However, I do realize that the hair is a little bit on the thinner side especially as it pertains to the back of the wig so like up here it looks really full but i'm specifically talking about the ends of the unit like i don't know if y'all can see this but this is supposed to be a 16 inch unit and to me it gets a little bit thin on the ends of it i mean it probably is not noticeable in the way that i'm showing it to y'all but I just feel like the hair could be fuller towards the ends of the hair and, and it's not. Um, so just keep that in mind. You may have to go longer, but longer doesn't necessarily mean fuller. So what I was considering doing is if the hair continues to thin out, possibly using some old hair that has a similar texture and just sewing an additional track in the back to give me that desired fullness. But for now, this unit is really cute and natural the way it is. So that was one of my cons. The other con is that this unit sheds when you manipulate it. If you leave the hair alone, then it doesn't shed. But if you notice tangles like I did and you have to actually go in and comb it out with a wide tooth comb or a wig brush, there's going to be hair all over the floor, all over the sink. It's, it's a lot of hair. In fact, when I detangled my hair and, you know, had to rejuvenate my curls, I had a ball of hair and I'm actually about to go get it. It's in my bathroom. I saved it because I wanted to update y'all on this video. Um, I was like, I'm going to make a video updating everybody on my one month with this hair because I don't want people to not know that this hair does shed a little bit or a lot bit. And so, yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> I wanted to show you that this is how much hair came out when I detangled this unit. This is how much hair came out when I detangled this unit. Now, a pro about this hair is that you can achieve the wet when dry look. And that's what I'm working with right now. And it looks really pretty and really natural. And this is how I got the look. Because I brushed my hair out probably, I think, the second time that I wore this hair. And it got really big and i wanted to tame it and bring it back in so i took the wig and i put it on a styrofoam mannequin head i sprayed it with a spray bottle with just water in it and then i applied this mousse that i picked up at the beauty supply store and the hair came to life baby it was so pretty and it had such a nice curl. I used the mousse to mold the front how I wanted it. And I used the uh, hard brush to kind of brush the front how I wanted it. And it looks so pretty. So that is a pro for me. Although this hair tangles. Um, not tangles. That's not the word I was looking for. Although this hair sheds. And although this hair is not the fullest density. You can rejuvenate the curls if you brush it out for the big look. You can bring it back in with the water and the mousse. And when it dries, it dries like this. And it looks really, really pretty. This is not hair that you can run your hands through, though. So, like, your hand will get stuck. I found that once I styled the hair, I left it alone. Now, the mousse is going to make it feel a little bit on the harder side, just like a holding spray does usually but i still recommend it because the way that it looks afterwards is just really really pretty the other con about this wig is that the combs that are in the front there's like three small combs in the front those combs really are uncomfortable 
I'm just being honest with you. When I wear this unit, I really just like to rely on the band and the Velcro strap and then the comb in the back. And then I pull out my old faithful bobby pins. Now, if you remember from my last video, I actually do use this wig to work out in and it's also become my weekend wig. And this wig is sturdy with the Velcro strap, the cap in the back or the comb in the back and some bobby pins. And I do whirl this thing around in my Zumba class. In fact, when I get done filming, that's where I'm headed. So understand that when you wear this unit, you don't have to use those uncomfortable combs. I prefer headband wigs that have the comb, the large one in the front and the one in the back instead of like a little one here, a little one here, a little one there. It's not a deal breaker. Uh, especially for $79. It's not a deal breaker, but it's just something to keep in mind. I highly recommend that you wear your hair braided down in some sort of way to where you have an anchor in the front so that those combs can sink in more comfortably. Other than that, this is still a great unit. I do recommend it. I am still buying more headband wigs from other companies because I like to try different options and see like this showed me that the density is more of a like natural look and you know you want to be snobby sometimes you want to be bougie you know exclusive vibes and wear a long wig sometimes with a lot of vavoom and a lot of density so if you're looking for a beginner friendly headband wig that's going to look natural that you can manipulate easily and revive this is it but if you're looking for one that is longer with a lot of density and it's going to be a little bit fuller uh, you may want to either, number one, buy this wig in a size that's a little bit longer. Don't do 16 because you're not going to get long out of 16. 16 is very much shoulder length vibes, okay? You want to order a 22. Or you may want to shop around and see if you can find one with a greater density. So that's my one month update on this unit. And I also shared with you how you can get this look. If you'd like to see another update on this hair or if you have any other questions, you want to see me give the mousse makeover in action, just let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video.